For decades, mechanics have repeated the 3,000-mile oil change rule. That advice was born before synthetic oils even existed. Today's engines face far more complex demands and Amsoil claims it is the one oil that can go the true distance. But is it really the best? Or just another myth mechanics will not tell you? The answer reveals what your engine actually needs and what quick lube shops never want you to know. The 3,000 mile oil change rule traces back to a different era when carbureted engines ran rich, fuel injection was rare, and oil technology lagged far behind today's standards. Early motor oils, distilled straight from crude, carried impurities and waxes that broke down quickly under heat and pressure. Short intervals made sense in the days when sludge and varnish could choke an engine before 50,000 miles. But the automotive world has changed. Modern engines run tighter tolerances, burn fuel more cleanly, and rely on advanced emission controls. Synthetic oils built from uniform molecules resist breakdown and volatility, and they maintain stability in both freezing cold and searing heat. Yet the 3,000-mile mantra lingers, echoing from quick lube shop posters and glove box stickers. Drivers are left with a nagging sense of urgency, even as manufacturers quietly stretch recommended intervals to 10,000 miles or more. The truth is, oil's job has grown more complex. Lubricating is just the start. Oil must cool, clean, seal, protect from corrosion, reduce friction, and hold contaminants in suspension. Blanket mileage rules ignore these realities. Engines and oils are not all created equal, and neither are the demands placed on them. Relying on a single number to decide when to change oil is as outdated as checking spark plugs every few thousand miles. To know what your engine truly needs, move past the old rule and look at what oil actually does inside a modern engine. Inside every engine, oil faces a demanding checklist. The first task is lubrication, creating a slippery barrier between moving metal parts so pistons and bearings glide instead of grinding. Next comes cooling. As oil circulates, it carries heat away from hot spots deep in the engine, helping to prevent warped parts and burnt oil. Cleaning is just as important. Additives in the oil grab soot, carbon, and metal shavings and keep them suspended so they do not settle into sludge. Sealing is the fourth job. Oil fills the tiny gaps between piston rings and cylinder walls, helping to trap combustion pressure and keep power where it belongs. Corrosion protection follows. Moisture and acids sneak into engines with every cold start, but oil coats surfaces to block rust and chemical attack. Reducing friction is another critical role. The right oil minimizes drag, which means less wasted energy, more power, and better fuel economy. Finally, oil must suspend contaminants. Dirt, dust, and combustion byproducts all end up in the crankcase. Good oil holds these particles in limbo until they are caught by the filter or drained away. If any one of these seven functions breaks down, the entire engine is at risk. A quality oil is not just about lasting longer. It is about doing all seven jobs, every mile, no matter the conditions. That is the real scorecard for what makes an oil worth trusting in your engine. Every drop of engine oil is built from molecules, but not all molecules do the job equally well. Conventional oils start life in the ground, pulled from crude and separated by heat. The result is a mix of short, long, and oddly shaped hydrocarbon chains, each with its own quirks. Some molecules are bulky and stubborn, refusing to flow in winter. Others are so light they evaporate when things heat up, leaving behind thicker oil and the seeds of sludge. Impurities like waxes, sulfur, and leftover metals linger in the mix, waiting to foul up an engine under stress. Synthetic oil takes a different path. Instead of distilling whatever nature provides, chemists build the base oil molecule by molecule. Group 4 synthetics, such as polyalpholefin, known as PAO, are engineered from pure ethylene, linking identical chains in a controlled process. The result is that every molecule is nearly a twin, straight, stable, and sized for the job. This uniformity means synthetic oil glides through tight spaces, resists thickening and cold starts, and shrugs off high temperatures that would cook conventional oil into varnish. Impurities do not make it into the bottle. 
With nothing extra to break down, synthetic oil holds its structure mile after mile. That is why volatility, the tendency to evaporate and leave behind deposits, drops sharply. In ASTMD 5800 tests, AMSOIL synthetic base showed 38% less oil loss to evaporation than conventional. Less evaporation means fewer top-offs, cleaner pistons, and less sludge. The chemistry does not just look good on paper. It changes how an engine ages. Instead of fighting the quirks of crude, synthetic oil delivers predictable protection, no matter the season or the stress. For anyone comparing oils, understanding this molecular difference is the key to seeing why engineered synthetics consistently outperform their conventional cousins. In 1972, a new name entered the American oil market, AMSOIL, bringing a radical promise that caught the attention of anyone serious about engine longevity. The company founder, Lt. Col. Albert Amatusio, was not a typical businessman. As an Air Force pilot, he had seen firsthand how jet engines demanded lubrication that could survive blistering heat and sub-zero cold without faltering. Military-grade synthetic oils had already proven their worth in the skies, but no one had brought that level of technology to everyday drivers. Amatuzio set out to change that, spending nearly a decade experimenting with chemical engineering and base oil purity, before launching the first API-approved synthetic motor oil in the United States. AMSOIL's edge came from its use of Group 4 polyalpha olefin base stocks, a synthetic oil built molecule by molecule from pure ethylene, not distilled from crude. Every chain is nearly identical, designed for stability. Under extremes that cause conventional oils to thicken, burn off, or leave behind varnish, this chemistry allowed AMSOIL to make a bold claim. Drivers could safely run up to 25,000 miles between oil changes, provided they used the right filter and followed recommended checks. That promise stood in stark contrast to the quick lube industry's 3,000-mile routine. And it was not just marketing hype. In ASTMD 5800 volatility tests, AMSOIL's synthetic base stock lost 38% less oil to evaporation than conventional blends. Less evaporation means fewer top-offs, cleaner pistons, and less sludge over time. The technical focus did not stop at base oils. AMSOIL's signature series formula layered in a proprietary blend of anti-wear additives and antioxidants, targeting the real threats inside modern engines, high temperature deposits, oxidation, and metal-on-metal -metal friction. The company published drain interval recommendations and volatility results, inviting drivers to test the claims themselves. By positioning itself as both a pioneer and a technical authority, AMSOIL built a reputation for pushing the boundaries of what oil could do, especially for drivers who demanded more than just basic protection. The story of AMSOIL's rise is not just about chemistry, it is about challenging industry norms and daring drivers to expect more from every oil change. Bench tests take the guessing out of oil performance, stripping away marketing and focusing on cold numbers. When AMSOIL Signature Series goes up against other flagship synthetics, Mobile One Extended Performance, Pennzoil Ultra Platinum, Royal Purple, and Castrol Edge, the results reveal a pattern. Across industry standard ASTM tests, every oil in this group delivers high marks for volatility, oxidation resistance, and shear stability. AMSOIL's NOIC Volatility, which measures how much oil evaporates under heat, consistently lands in the top tier, showing up to 38% less loss than conventional oils. But compared to Mobile One Extended Performance or Pennzoil Ultra Platinum, the difference shrinks to a few percentage points, well within the margin that matters for most engines. Viscosity retention under stress is another key metric. In controlled high temperature, high shear tests, AMSOIL maintains its thickness, resisting the breakdown that leads to metal on metal contact. Its competitors track closely. Mobile One and Castrol Edge both hold their ground, with minor variations that rarely translate to real-world failure. Total Base Number, or TBN, which gauges an oil's ability to neutralize acids over time, shows AMSOIL with a slight edge. Higher TBN means more reserve for long drain intervals. Yet Mobile One and Pennzoil Ultra Platinum are close behind, often within 0.5 to 1.2 units 
a gap that matters more on paper than in practice for typical drain intervals. Sequence engine tests designed to push oils to their limits with heat and contamination show all these synthetics resisting sludge, varnish, and wear with impressive consistency. No catastrophic failures, no runaway wear metals, just a lineup of oils that all meet or exceed the latest APISP and ILSA CGF6 standards. Consumer forums and independent reviewers echo this finding. When run side by side, the best synthetics protect engines with only marginal differences in lab results, often within 5 to 10% on volatility, oxidation, and wear protection. The numbers leave little room for clear winners. Instead, they raise a new question. If the lab says these oils are so close, what really matters when the rubber meets the road? That answer does not come from controlled environments. It comes from engines living real lives, mile after mile. A small bottle arrives at the lab filled with the dark used oil from a truck that has logged over 400,000 miles. The lab technician records the sample number, then pulls a thin stream through a pipette for analysis. This is not guesswork or marketing, it is science. Used oil analysis, also called UOA, breaks down what is really happening inside the engine. The lab checks for wear metals like iron, copper, and aluminum, each measured in parts per million. High numbers mean metal is grinding away somewhere inside. Viscosity is measured next. If the oil has thinned out, it cannot protect moving parts. If it is thickened, sludge and oxidation are setting in. Total base number, known as TBN, is the final checkpoint. It measures the oil's ability to neutralize acids. When TBN drops too low, the oil can no longer protect against corrosion. In the case of the owner whose truck has 400,000 miles, the results tell the story. Where metals remain low, viscosity stays within spec. TBN holds steady even after extended intervals. The secret is not just the oil, it is the combination of a premium synthetic, a high-quality filter, and regular UOA checks. The owner does not rely on mileage stickers or shop advice. Instead, lab reports confirm the engine is protected year after year. For anyone serious about long-term engine health, used oil analysis is not just reassurance, it is proof that extended drain intervals can work and that the right oil can help an engine last nearly half a million miles. Amsoil's price tag lands between $12 and $15 per quart, sometimes double what Mobile One Extended Performance or Pennzoil Ultra Platinum cost on the shelf. That sticker shock turns heads, but the math changes when you factor in drain intervals. One oil change with Amsoil Signature Series can stretch up to 25,000 miles, while most competitors recommend 10,000 or 15,000. For drivers logging 12,000 miles a year, that is a single oil change instead of two, meaning the yearly spend for Amsoil hovers around $144 compared to $112 for Mobile One, or even less for conventional. The gap narrows, especially for high mileage or severe duty engines, where extended intervals pay off. Not every car needs premium synthetic. Turbocharged, high-performance and diesel engines thrive on the extra protection especially under heavy loads or stop-and-go traffic. For the average commuter car, a mid-tier synthetic at the manufacturer's interval offers solid defense without breaking the bank. What matters most is matching oil grade and filter quality to your driving style and engine demands. Some myths refuse to die. Synthetic oil does not cause leaks in older engines unless it washes away sludge that was hiding a bad seal. Even then, high mileage formulas include conditioners to counteract this. Switching between synthetic and conventional is safe if you use the right viscosity. Thicker oil is not better. It just risks starving tight tolerance engines. The real decision rule is this. Follow your owner manual, pick the right viscosity, and pair long drain oils with filters built to last. That is the truth for keeping engines healthy, whether you pay a premium for extended protection or choose a more economical synthetic for routine driving. Quick lube shops run on volume, and the real money is not in premium products. It is in the bulk oil pumped from tanks out back. That oil costs the shop far less per quart than anything sold in a sealed bottle which means every time a customer chooses the standard option, the profit margin climbs. 
Premium synthetics like Amsoil, on the other hand, have to be special ordered or brought in by request, cutting into those margins and adding hassle for the staff. For the quick lube tech behind the counter, Recommending whatever is on tap is just easier and more profitable than tracking down a bottle that eats into the bottom line. That is why it pays to watch what goes into your engine. The safest way to get exactly what you want is to ask for sealed bottles and to check them before the pour. Look for the tamper evident cap, the factory label, and the right viscosity grade. If you are running a premium oil, do not leave it to chance. Buy your own and hand it to the tech. Keep the receipt with your maintenance records. This simple step closes the door on possible shortcuts, substitutions, or honest mistakes that can happen when dozens of cars line up for service every day. Some shops may push back claiming their bulk oil is just as good or that outside products are not allowed. But you are the one paying for the service and the engine is yours to protect. Verifying sealed bottles and bringing your own oil are not just good habits, they are the most reliable way to ensure your investment gets the protection you expect not just whatever is most convenient for the shop. Today, synthetic oil technology keeps evolving, but one fact remains. Independent analysis, not brand loyalty, is the best defense against costly mistakes. With top-tier synthetics performing within a narrow margin, the real advantage lies in knowledge and vigilance at every oil change. The next time someone insists there is only one best oil, remember, your engine's future depends on the choices you make now. What is your take? Does brand still matter most?